What's up, family? Man, man, I just wanted to jump on here. Man, can you stand the test of time? Can you stand the test of time? What am I saying? Man, can you go through it and still keep your head up? Can you go through it and still know that, man, it's all good? Everything is always working out for you. Everything is always working out for you. I don't care what it is. You know what I mean? I don't care what it is. Can you go through it and still be grateful? Can you go through it and still smile, knowing that you're good, knowing that you're tapped into source, universe, God, the most high, whatever it is, you know? What I mean? Can you go through it knowing that, man, I don't have to understand this. I don't have to figure this out. I ain't got to fight with this. All I got to do is stay in alignment. All I have to do is stay connected. Stay connected and understand and trust that it's all good. You know what I mean? What is the lesson in this situation? What am I supposed to learn from this? How is this going to help me grow and reach my full, full potential? How is this going to help me get to the next level? That's all I got to figure out. I don't have to understand anything else. I don't have to get caught up in why other people ain't got to go through this and woe is me. I ain't got to get caught up into, man, it ain't fair and other people got it easier and other people come from money and other people got mama and daddy to help them out. Other people got a man that's paying their bills and whoop do do whoop. Man, I ain't got to figure none of that stuff out. Other people got a sugar mama or whatever, you know what I mean? A cougar, whatever they got that's helping them pay their way and helping them reach their full potential. You ain't got that oh well, man. Man up, woman up, you know what I mean? You didn't come here for that. Can you go through it and still let your light shine? Can you go through it and still be a beacon of love, of hope, and joy? You know what I mean? Can you go through it and still represent God, still manifest God, still manifest love? Can you go through it? You know what I mean? Can you stand the test of time? Everybody want to be successful, but everybody don't want to put in the work. Everybody want to reach their full potential, but everybody don't want to go and pay the price. Can you pay the price? Can you stand the test of time? Man, you can plant a seed in the ground tomorrow. Five, um, two, two weeks from now, that seed ain't going to be grown. You know what I mean? That seed is not going to grow overnight and become a full, full on, grown, oh, I can't even talk, become a full-blown tree, bringing forth fruit in a matter of two weeks, in a matter of a month, in a matter of a year. You know what I mean? Can you stand the time, test of time? Can you go through the drought season? Can you go through the heat? Can you go through the summertime? Can you go through the fall when the leaves are falling off? Can you go through the winter when it's all cold and snow and all that? Can you stand the test of time until it's your time? Until it's divine timing for you to bring forth your fruit, your season. You know what I mean? Can you stand the test of time? That's what this is all about. Everybody want to get there, but nobody want to go through the journey. Everybody want to get to heaven, the promised land, whatever you want to call it. But nobody wants to go through the journey. Nobody wants to enjoy the journey. We're so fixated on the destination and we miss the fact that, man, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. You can't get to the destination without the journey. Let me say that again. You cannot get to your destination without the journey. Can you stand the test of time? Can you enjoy the ride? So many of us, we get so fixated and we become so negative and so toxic that we'll never get to our promised land. We'll never enjoy the benefits of life and the beauty of it all. Why? Because we become so toxic, so poisonous, so negative, because all we're looking at is the bad stuff. All we're looking at is the negative stuff. You cannot go into your promised land season being negative and toxic. You cannot go into your promised land season being full of negativity and having a victim mentality. Can you stand the test of time? Can you throw up your hands and say, man, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Man, I'm in this situation right here. Whatever it is, I'm in this situation for a reason. For a reason. Man, let me just sit back and just smile and just like, man, it's good. It's good. It's good. Learn to live in the now, in the present moment. That's all you have. That's all you have is the present moment. You get so stressed out because you're worried about the future. Because you're so scared about the future. You're doing everything to prepare for the future. You ain't even living in the now. How can you go into the future and you ain't even thinking about the now? You ain't even living in the now. 
How can you live in the future if you don't learn how to if you don't learn how to live in the now? If you don't learn how to live in your present. See, we learn how to live in the present. Every day, it, people, every day it's a new present. Every day is the presence. You know what I mean? Stop worrying about the past. Let that crap go. Learn the lessons from it. Learn the valuable life lessons from it. And just enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. I know it's challenging. Man, I've gone through some things in life, family. I've gone through a lot of things. I've lost a lot of people out of my life. Life hasn't always been a bed of roses for me. I've had loved ones die from cancer. I've had people walk out of my life. I've gone through the molestations and losing parents and just all that crazy shit. Life ain't easy. And then one thing that I learned from my father, my father said, man, getting old ain't for sissies. Getting old ain't for sissies. What he was saying, man, it's hard getting old. Everybody don't get old. There's a whole lot of people die early. There's a whole lot of people, they live into the older years, but they ain't really living. They wouldn't. They become zombies. They become zombies. All they do is exist. They're not living. And most of us, we're not living. Most of us don't even know how to live. All we know how to do is exist. Struggling from paycheck to paycheck. And we exist. And there's nothing wrong with struggling from paycheck to paycheck. Been there, done that. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. But learn the lesson and enjoy it. Because there's always people that wish they were in your situation. There's always people wish they were in your shoes. Wish they had what you have. Can you stand the test of time? Or are you going to become zombified? Are you going to become walking dead? And what I mean, you're so angry, so bitter, so toxic that you stop living. You stop enjoying life. You stop growing. You stop growing. Once you stop growing, you start dying. Once you stop growing, you start dying. And so many of us, we haven't grown in years. We haven't grown in decades. Can you stand the test of time? Can you look at your situation and say, man, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Man, it's not going to always be like this. It's not going to always be like this. I'm not always going to struggle the way I'm struggling. I'm not always going to go without like I'm going right now. I'm not always going to be alone. I'm not always going to be financially broke. I'm not always going to have to catch the bus. I'm not always going to have to walk. I'm not always going to have to take my clothes to the laundromat. I'm not always going to have to miss meals just because I can't really afford to eat. It is what it is. I'm not always going to have to raise my kids alone with no help. Can you stand the test of time? Can you look at your situation and speak life into your situation? Out of your tongue, possess ye your power. What am I saying? Man, are you speaking life or death over your life? Are you speaking life or death over your situation? Are you always walking around talking about, man, I'm broke, I'm poor, I ain't got it, da, 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 da. Are you always speaking death over your life? Or are you speaking, man, in time, in divine timing, all I got to do is stay the course. All I got to do is keep doing what I'm supposed to do. All I got to do is keep speaking life, staying positive, staying grateful for what I have, for where I'm at. Because if the truth be told, man, there's been times in my life where I was a lot worse off than I am now. For so many of us, we forget that. We forget we haven't always been where we're at. There's been times where we wish we were here. Now we don't got comfortable and like a days ago, and now we don't become entitled. And I'm grateful. Remember that you haven't always been in your situation.
Remember that you've all, there's been times where you've gone with less. Can you stand the test of time? Can you speak life into your situation? Can you speak life into your wife, into your man, into your kids, over your kids, over your finances? Can you speak life? You guys hear me talk all the time. Man, what you think about, you bring about. If all you're thinking about is the negative stuff, if all you're thinking about is what you don't have, if all you think about is the bad, man, that's all you're going to get. Because that's what you're focused on. Flip the script. Flip the script. Learn to think positive. Learn to speak life. What am I saying? Man, I'm going to have money. I'm going to have wealth. Start reading books of how not to get wealth, but how to preserve wealth. Start reading and understanding, man, how can I put my mind in alignment so once I get the wealth, I'll know how to keep the wealth. Once I learn how to get money, I'll understand how to make more and how to take the money that I have and invest it and use it wisely. Once I get a queen and get a king, I'll know how to keep them. I'll know how to cherish them. I'll, learn, I'll know how to uplift them and build them up. And I won't be tearing them down. That's speaking life. That's speaking life over the people in your life. That's speaking love. Can you stand the test of time? Can you go through whatever it is you got to go through and just, man, one day, one day, one day, in my time, in divine timing, I'm gonna walk out of this situation. I'm gonna walk into my promised land season. I'm gonna walk into the marriage of my dreams. I'm gonna walk into the job of my dreams. I'm gonna walk into the career of my dreams. I'm gonna own the business I've always dreamed of. I'm gonna have the vehicle, the home, the vacations that I've always dreamed of. One day. But I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful for today. Every day puts me a step closer to that one day. Every day, every moment puts me a step closer. So I'm grateful for it. I'm giving thanks for the opportunity to prepare myself, to get myself right. Because it's going to come. Because I'm doing the work. I'm preparing myself. It's like when you know you're about to get married, you, you got a wedding date plan, you go get the dress, you start sending out the invitations, you start preparing. Why? Because you know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. And so you walk around, you're not there yet. But you start walking around, yes, it's going to come. It's like women that are pregnant, they know, man, nine months from now, I'm going to give birth. And the child's not here yet. It's not manifested yet. People can't even see that I'm pregnant. But one day, they're going to see that my belly's starting to get bigger. One day, they're going to see that, man, I'm ready. One day, they're going to see I'm going to give birth to this child. And it's the same with everything in life. Can you stand the test of time? Can you go through your dry season? Can you go through the time when it's not manifested yet? Can you go through this season? Even though nobody sees that you're giving birth to what you got. Nobody sees that your king is coming. Nobody sees that your queen is coming. Nobody sees that your success is coming. Nobody sees that your breakthrough is coming. Nobody sees that your elevation season is coming. You know it, but you don't know the exact date. You know the timing, but you don't know the exact date. You know it's coming. But you can't pinpoint the day. And even though nobody else could look at you and see it, you know it. You know it. 
All you have to do is stay in alignment with source, the most high, God, whatever you is you call it. Stay connected and you know it's going to come in divine timing, regardless of what everybody else say, regardless of what everybody else think. You might not look pregnant, but you got the verification that you are pregnant, even though it don't look like you're pregnant. You got the test results that say you're pregnant. So you know you're pregnant, even though it don't look like it, even though you don't look like it. And it may take time for you to start showing it. And so you tell people you're pregnant and they might not believe you because you don't look pregnant. Stand the test of time. In time, you'll start showing. In time, they'll see, man, they was about their business. They were legit. They were connected. What they were saying was true. She really was pregnant. She really was pregnant with that business. She really was pregnant with that king. He really was pregnant with that queen. He really was pregnant with that business opportunity. And whatever it is that you want. Can you stand the test of time? Can you go through the time when everybody's doubting you? When everybody's throwing shade and salt and dismissing you? And belittling you and dogging you up. Can you stand the test of time? Can you stand on your own two feet? Knowing that it is what it is. They ain't got to believe me. But you know who you, what you know. You know what you know. You know you're a queen. You might not look like one today. You know you're a king. But you not. You don't look like one today. You're broken, busted, and disgusted. You walk it, but you got a king mentality. You walk it, and you ain't got nothing to show for it. But man, you know where you're going. You know you're not going to always stay here. Can you stand the test of time? Can you stand the test of time? Or are you going to fold under pressure? Are you going to fold up under the doubts and the naysayers? Are you going to fold up under the pressure from everybody else dogging you out and dismissing you? Or because it doesn't look like it's going to come into fruition. Can you stand the test of time? Can you do it? Your ancestors are depending on you. To stand the test of time. They didn't go through the hell that they went through for you to fold now. They didn't go through the hell that they went through for you to cave under the pressure now. Can you stand the test of time? Can you say, man, I came here for this reason. I don't care who believe in me. I don't care who support me. I came here for this reason. I came here to build this legacy. I came here to show my family and my ancestors that one of us is going to do what we came here to do. One of us came here to change the dynamics of our family. Can you change the, can you stand the test of time? Can you, uh, let me slow up. Can you stand the test of time? It don't matter what the weather looks like. It don't matter what, what the circumstances look like. It don't matter what everybody else is saying. Can you stand the test of time? Do you value you? Do you value your ancestors and all the hell that they've gone through to give you the opportunity to be here so that you could do it right? So that you could set things right? So that you could break these generational curses? Can you stand the test of time? Do you have that type of fortitude? Man, you came here to be a generational curse breaker. You came here to break these trauma bonds. 
You came here to break all of the bondage of, that's been on your family of drugs and alcoholism and failure and all these other things, low self-esteem, depression, suicidal thoughts, and all this other crap. You came here to break these curses. If not you, then who? If you don't do it for your family, then who is going to do it for your family? If you can't stand for your family, then who is? If you don't love your family enough to be able to stand for them, how can you expect somebody else to? We're so often looking for a savior. We want somebody to come rescue us. Because you don't realize that you came here to be the savior. You came here to rescue your family. You came here to rescue yourself. You came here to be that light, that beacon of hope and love for your family. Can you stand the test of time? Can you go through what you have to go through? And not give up. Don't give up. Too many of us are giving up. We've gone through all this hell and now we're giving up. We've gone through all the abuse and the abandonment and the neglect and all that other crap that we've gone through. The brokenheartedness and the loneliness and the suicidal thoughts and the depression. and things. We've gone through all the hell and now we're ready to give up. You're at the promised land and you're ready to give up. You're right there at your breaking point, right there at your crossing over phase, and you're ready to give up. Because you don't realize how close you are. You don't realize how close you are to success. You don't realize how close you are to your breakthrough. You don't realize how close you are. to all the things that you dreamed of, all the things that you planned for, bring it forth for and manifesting in your life. You're right there, right there. Don't give up now. My grandma used to always say, whenever God's getting ready to start blessing, the devil starts messing. Said again, my grandmother used to always say, whenever God's getting ready to start blessing, the devil starts messing, and it's right before your breakthrough. That's when you go through the worst. It's right before your breakthrough is when you go through your darkest phase. It's right before your breakthrough when you face all the challenges and the obstacles, and it seems like everything goes to hell in the handbasket. It's right there at your breakthrough when you're ready to just fold and quit and just give up and just throw up your hands and say, fuck it, I give up. I surrender. It will do with the man. I should just go back to drinking. I should just go back to smoking. I should go back to popping pills. I should go back to slamming dope and all this other stupid shit. Why? Because you're right there at your breakthrough. But you don't realize it. You don't realize you're right there. Can you stand the test of time? Can you keep pushing? And sometimes you can't walk this journey. And then the Bible talks about a man that runs his race. Sometimes you can't run. Sometimes you're too tired to run. And man, you got to walk. You're too tired to run. I understand. Been there. Done that. At that point, man, walk it. Walk it out. And sometimes you're going to get so tired and so weak, you can't walk no more. Crawl. Whatever you do, keep moving. When you can't walk, crawl. But don't give up. Don't give up. I love you guys. Man, my queen and I, we love you. I hope that something has been said that's helped you. You know what I mean? That's inspired you not to give up. That's inspired you not to, man, just go back to how you used to be. You've come too far. You've accomplished too much. You've helped too many. Don't lose it now. Don't give up now. Don't give up now. I love you. Happy healing. Peace.